Anytime a colonist needs their housing built. Me! Look at me! It's me! I found myself again! And welcome to GT Not Live, where today I'm spending time with a very important friend, myself, and Markiplier. What about me? No, definitely not you, Matt. Aww. Matt's voice is Hey, sick. guys. It's, <laughs> it's bad. It, it, that was rough. It's really not good. Yeah, that was great. Uh, actually, it was, your first I was couple doing... words were solid, and then you did that thing with that, like, oh, I'm actually really sick right now. I, that, no, that's how I sound. It, it, no, it, it started strong. Like, when you started talking, I'm like, oh, maybe his voice is better than I thought. But when I got here, we just recorded an episode, and I was doing, like, fine. Like, yeah. I could, like, push through, but, uh, it's... You didn't have to do that, by the way. <laughs> like, nah, you can, you can... I, I like chatting. Okay. I like talking. Well, you know what? I'm giving you a break, because Thank we're going to be chatting with Markiplier today, oh. and if anyone has a lot of words, <laughs> it's Markiplier. If anyone has just as many words as I do, it's, it's that guy. Um, so, so yeah, you take a break, you rest your okay. voice, okay? okay? Um, and before we hop into dealing with Markiplier, uh, just to let you know, uh, this is going up on Friday, but next Monday, uh, you can get your hands on our latest merch drop. It's the Core Collection. You can see it right here on my bod, this long sleeve shirt. If it looks familiar, yes, that's correct. Uh, this is actually a redesigned version of some of your favorite, uh, designs that we've done in the past, right? So... Matt, you you don't have to talk to me about it, but you can toss toss it to me. Oh, oh, toss it to me. That's right there. Oh, 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 so so many things. Oh my gosh. Okay, good, perfect. I, uh, but basically, it's it's the core collection. We decided to take some of uh, the things that you liked the best, some of the designs that were most favorably received from you guys, and just uh, redesign them a little bit, uh, add some color, because now we have more channels and we can represent more channels. They were originally just green, but now you have the circuit T-shirt, which I think is the second or third T-shirt we ever did. Uh, representing all the channels there. Uh, we also have, you know, what I'm wearing here, which is from the Japanese collection uh, that we did uh, about like two years ago, three years ago, I think. Um, there's, it comes in hoodie form. It says that's just a theory, a game theory on there. And we even got joggers, um, which is, you know, basically a fancy word for sweatpants. Uh, but they're really nice and they're really soft. Aren't they soft, Matt? Very soft. Super soft. Super soft. So those are coming available, if not today, then definitely by next Monday. So And they'll be available for like probably the next two, three weeks or so. So get them uh, before they're gone. But it's it's cool. Kind of commemorate all the channels. And then there's that weird blue one. So who knows what that's going to happen. Like, what, what that's, what's that all about? Anyway, uh, back to Markiplier, because everything uh, should and always will be about Markiplier. Uh, he recently just launched In Space with Markiplier, uh, which is... His third, fourth in the kind of like trilogy, quadrilogy of choose your own adventures using the medium of YouTube, uh, which is really cool. Uh, honestly, I love this format. I love what he does with these things. I've, uh, you know, I've been in them in the past. I was in Heist uh, with Markiplier, which is his first YouTube original. Um, and I got to say, it's it's really cool. Uh, for those of you who don't know, back in the olden days, and this is a history lesson for Matt, uh, but back in the olden days... Uh, YouTube had the annotation tool, which allowed you to scale buttons on screen and add little text wherever you wanted to at any point in the video uh, to get people to click on it and, and do things. Um, and YouTube phased that out because it was being misused in a lot of cases. People were doing like full screen ones, and if you clicked it, it would send you to like sketchy websites. Um, you can make them invisible so people didn't know. Uh, I liked them a lot because they were really powerful tools that you could put anywhere in a video and it was one of those things where you could add text to them, uh, it, you could very easily make corrections or censor things that you needed to, like, hey, I made a mistake here, here's a very clear annotation to fix it kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, they phased that out because it was too flexible of a tool uh, and especially as mobile became more of a thing, they got rid of them because they couldn't really make them work appropriately on mobile devices. Uh, so that's why you have the end cards now with those like 20 second screens where the buttons become available. Um, one of my favorite creators back in the day, um, someone that I worked with was Mystery Guitar Man. Uh, and he did this thing where in every single one of his videos, there was an invisible one of them and you had to scroll across the screen at you know, a couple, and it would only appear for a couple seconds, and you would have to find it, and over the course of every single one of his videos, you would assemble 
it would you would roll over it you would get a, a secret letter and bit by bit you were able to assemble a URL for YouTube that would lead you to an unlisted video and only like a hundred people would find this thing because I mean it, it took a lot of commitment but it was this like very secret video for people who are just very dedicated fans of this game and it was really really cool way to use this this tool um obviously YouTube has, has limited a lot of this but what I love about you know the Markiplier choose your own adventure stuff is it it carries on with that tradition right that idea of you know branching story arcs hidden things in videos and you know really getting to play with the medium that is YouTube a bunch of short videos and you can interact with those videos to, to kind of make different routes and then of course you know Netflix launched Bandersnatch and everyone and traditional media is like whoa they made a choose your own adventure and all of us on the internet are like Mark's been doing it for like the last three years so get with the times did you play Bandersnatch yeah it was bad it was fine. It was, like, not very good. It was, like, it was okay. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I think I enjoyed it for what it was. And I and I did like the moments where it wasn't just a binary choice, but it was, like, now you're typing in a phone number. Or, like, there were a couple mm -hmm. moments where it w went a little bit beyond just the choose-your-own-adventure format, which was cool. And you were piecing together clues to get other endings. Like, I liked that. It was fine. Have you seen when Netflix tried to do Bandersnatch with Bear Grylls? Oh, the Bear Grylls show. We should do that. Can we? I don't know. We'd probably get flagged for copyright. But man, yeah. The Choose Your Own Adventure with Bear Grylls where it's like, should I urinate on my scarf? and Or should I just drink my urine? It's like, all right, Bear Grylls. Cool. I also love, like, any time that you're standing in yeah. for the camera. Mm -hmm. Why would why would Bear Grylls do that? <laughs> why would it be Bear Grylls? It's, right. it's 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 odd, right? It's very odd. Yeah, that that show. I think they're they're like, wow, Bandersnatch went really great. Let's do it again. <laughs> you know, what we're gonna do it. Bear Grylls. We gotta get Bear on <laughs> this. Get Bear on that. I love Bear. Bear Grylls is one of my favorite like tra traditional celebrity, reality celebrities. I don't mm -hmm. know, but like, yeah, let's get Bear on that. And then it failed miserably. And then they're like. Well, that was a fun experiment. Get, get Mark. Maybe Mark will sell this to Netflix at some point. I hope he does. Uh, he deserves it. Uh, anyway, uh, so like I mentioned before, I was in Heist with Markiplier as the old crazy man. And it's really fun because I don't know where I am. Like, I know my parts of the script. I know what I did. But I don't know how I fit into the overarching thing. It's actually one of the nice things. We're working on a theory right now. Uh, well, actually, I'm hoping to work on a theory right now for In Space with Markiplier. And this is, this is us starting that. Um, where, like, yes, I was in it, but I actually go in blind, you know? It's kind of like the MCU where some of the actors are, like, in scenes and they're like, I don't, they didn't tell me anything else. Uh, so I know some of the things that I do, but I also think that I, they're not in here yet. So I wanted to, basically what today's goal was, was to speed run my way through this. You know, get a couple of routes in through In Space with Mark Play, see where I end up, and hopefully speed run my way to myself. Um, if if I remember right, I believe it was broken into two pieces, according to Mark. This was just a conversation we had on set, and he was busy with other things, so he didn't fully explain it to me. But I think In Space is two parts. So we'll see. Uh, but I haven't gotten a chance to sit down and watch it. I'm like, let's do it. It's kind of like a game. It supports Mark in his endeavors. You know, it, it, it's also just really cool to see myself in something and, and hopefully figure out where I am. I think I'm in an opening scene. I think I have a couple other, like, maybe hallway scenes. And then, like, the the bigger stuff with me, I think, comes later. So we'll, we'll see. Uh, but anyway, let's, let's hop into it. See where I get. See what we wind up with. Uh, so, and also see the connections. Because, like I said, I'm... I'm sure that there are connection points here. I'm working on a theory for this with the wider Markiplier universe. So this will be a good, like, initial, let's immerse ourselves in the world. So hop into it. In Space Markiplier Part 1. Oh, rest in peace, YouTube Originals. Uh, yeah, if you don't know, YouTube Originals just uh, got, can like, not canceled, but, like, it's no longer a part of YouTube anymore. Uh, they they kind of canceled it or it's gone now uh which is sad because I, I think it was a great i think it was a great opportunity that was kind of mis misused in a lot of cases and they kind of lost their focus around like let's do a bunch of music specials as opposed to like actually funding the creators um so i guess youtube originals wraps though with me officially holding the title as being in the most youtube originals because uh, i did a ton of them 
Uh, they liked me because I was reliable and professional, as opposed to, you know, other people sometimes. Uh, interesting that starting with Invincible 2, that already is telling us something about the lore of this world, that there has been an Invincible 1. Also, and, and, and I mean, kudos to Mark, and being on set, I got to see to some of this, but we'll, here we'll talk. Space is always going to be hard unless you have like an egregious budget. I'm sorry, no, I'm staring at mine. Huge fan. Huge fan. Been following your career for quite a while now. Huh. Invisible Tower, this is Shuttle Marmota. Okay, so we have, we have history and we're, we're renowned. Closing the blast shields. <laughs> so, I will say this, and this is one of the brilliant things that, again, like Mark and the team were really smart about this. They tried to close the blast doors a lot. Um, and in a, at least the, what he told me on set was like, they close the blast doors in an effort to make sure that they don't have to do a bunch of CG scenes. Because like I was just alluding to, when you are doing space stuff, it's expensive. There's, you can't use real world locations because there is no real world location of space, right? You're, you have to build all these hallways and, and futuristic spaceships. You have to like do a bunch of CG and computer generated stuff to, to do like exterior shots in space. So that, that looks awesome. Um, but I do know that for budget reasons, right, they were always coming up with reasons to close the blast doors, uh, so that way they didn't have to rely on the green screen that was back there all the time, which was, I mean, again, super smart, super brilliant. This looks great. Copy you. Should be told we couldn't afford to show that anyway. But, uh, ah, there it is! <laughs> there it is! I couldn't afford to show it anyway. Yes! Okay, so good. I'm not, like, revealing any secrets or anything. Exactly where we're at. Check it out. We're gonna land in. Five. <laughs> Stop Captain, short. Uh, we're here early. I gotta say it's an honor. You know, thinking maybe uh, we could hang out or something. We'll get a co <laughs> Go for with, the know, high five. <laughs> Up top. Yes. Th there's got to be something with the numbers, right? Like the numbers on the chat. Like uh, again, as a theorist, and as I you know start collecting clues, already Invincible Two, we have a backstory. It's an honor to hang out with me. So either I'm a renowned captain, or I have some history that's going to be important. Uh, and then the numbers on his chest. Are really the... Also, a Chica pin on his on his chest, uh, which is Chica's his dog. Invincible right. Two, Captain. Glad to have you here. Took you long enough, but let me give you the grand tour before we embark. That's oh, no. my pride and joy. Ah. My baby. Well. You're a baby, I guess now. So good. But I made her. And a baby will always remember her. Father. Well, I understand. Welcome aboard, Captain and Head Engineer. Prepare for sterilization. First stop, the good, warp core. The, the heart and soul of the ship. Still not 100% sure how it works, but you don't need to know how something works wow. in order to use it. It's true. And we'll again. It passed every safety test with flying colors. It's not gonna be like last time. Oh no. Oh, this time, the Invincible is finally gonna live up to her name. I love it. But just in case. It's so dynamic. I built in a special precaution. If anything goes wrong, we can detonate these explosives oh. and separate the warp core from the rest of the ship. Important details. I've yet to meet a problem that can't be solved with explosives. And speaking of <laughs> explosives, the main reactor. Turns out you pretty much need the power of a star to tear open a wormhole, so a star I built. Built like a tank, too. That's awesome. And again, like, the amount of, like, effects here is just extraordinary, right? They built this beautiful, beautiful set, but, again, because it's yeah. space and so much is going on, like, every panel has to be animated, every every door has to be animated. It's, it's, it's wild, the amount of effects that you need to, to make this happen. And so for Mark to do it off of... I don't know what his budget was, but I do know what YouTube original budgets were. And I mean, we were early days, and I know it got bigger as as the projects got bigger. But like, wasn't that much. So good for him. Bert. Yes. Yep. Yeah, it's Bert. He makes sure that the ship don't go boom. Next up is Cryo. Hey. hey. The colonists are prepped, stable, and ready for transit. Systems are working at 110% too, which is a little weird, but overkill never hurts. Trust me. You do not want to be awake when the warp core hits the gas. I think I'm supposed to be asleep. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to be asleep, but I don't think I am. Cece. Asshat. Captain, all colonists are prepped and stable. 100,000 souls ready for a new life. Let's get them there safe. All right, so uh, Pam, Always, always important to note with these episodes, 
uh, and with with these kind of like Markiplier projects because as we've done in a previous theory, Pam tends to be the same character in different settings. So um, she's she's set up early in, I think, Date with, was it? No, uh, Who Killed Markiplier, I think, was the first time it was set up. And then her character is kind of like reincarnated or recurs at multiple points throughout all of these in different kind of forms, and you can roughly connect them. So I'd be on the lookout for Pam potentially being, you know, making past references oh, don't to worry. other Before Markiplier they know, projects. They're going to wake up to the side of a brand new planet with a fresh cup of coffee in their hands. Why don't you give them more windows to look through? Well, maybe I will. Maybe then someone might appreciate the aesthetics. Besides, what could go wrong with a crew like this? ADS is good to go. Don't worry, Cap. No asteroids getting by me. You can count on that. Love it. It, it really is just a. I mean, it's it's a theatrical play. You, all of this has to be staged because it's all done in like one long take. Oh no, Captain! I'm falling. Catch me! Yeah, Danny. We had to rehearse that scene a bunch of times. There I am! There! Found it! Uh, it's you! Found me! There he is! There he is! Look at him. Your little hat. Yeah, I know, right? Aren't I cute with my little beret? Yeah, we had to do this hallway scene a lot of times. Because again, like I said, it's a, it's a play. And so, and, and coming from the theater world, right? There's so much movement and blocking all happening. So you have to get the, the camera movement right. You have to get everyone's time. Like, so Danny falls there. But because Danny has to be, oh no, Captain, I'm falling. you know, Catch safe and you want that kind of jokey effect there, there's a, someone else behind camera with like a, a dummy or a doll flopping it. And so timing that so it hit the camera, but then it's, it's, it's a lot of coordination. Navigation is online, Captain. Engines are looking good, Captain. Flight support is online. It's, it's, it's nailed it. You did great. I did it. <laughs> Sped run my way there. <laughs> there it is. Let, let's, let's, mm. I learned how to salute from the movie Scent of a Woman. Where they teach you how to salute. Well, and what's Al Pacino. The form? Well, he's like he because like people do this and he's like, no, you get it's, it's all it's all about the angles. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, people people salute all over. Watch the sensible one. That was a lovely salute. Thank you. Well done. It's got to be a straight line. Mm. Not, and then we wouldn't know until we passed out. Seems fine. Everything is accounted for. We're ready to see our new home. All that's left now. This, I should be in this one too, if I remember right. Yep. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Me again. Try not to get them too excited, Captain. I know how your speech is. Wait, did they get? Hold up. Oh yeah, Chica. Again, this is another shot that we had to do a bunch of times because Chica's there. <laughs> As space dog, which I love. So good, so good on set. So calm. Such a wonderful dog. And and then they would call call Chica away. Like, oh, come on, come on, you can leave now. It's for you to say the word. Try not to get them too excited, Captain. I know how your speeches can get people riled up. <coughs> Warp call engaged. Great. <laughs> opening in 30 seconds. All personnel report to your assigned crime report. Oh, it's all right, Captain. I, ooh, I'm sure you'll make a great speech once we get there. <laughs> Great. Oh, and I forgot to mention, it's not a problem, of course, but just before you go to sleep, be absolutely sure. Do not. Oh, no! Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, error. Error, 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 error. These pods were cool. Two. A software update is available. I had to be in one of these like cryopods for a while. It was peaceful and cozy. They fill with a lot of smoke. It's a little nerve wracking when you're in a trapped box with a lot of smoke. Don't give up. Oh man, we're already giving up. We're already getting endings. Software update complete. Cool. Good morning, Captain. We are currently error years into our journey. Coffee is en route. Current ship station is. Absolutely catastrophic. Initializing emergency wakey wakey protocol. And again, like all of this, all of these effects. Again, like a lot of this was practically done. The the lights were phenomenal. Uh, the lighting designer did an amazing job doing all of this practically. Again, walking through the hallways with <laughs> Oh no, Mark! He's 
already gone. Darn it. That's one way to write yourself out of out of the show that you made. Okay. Fix life support. Put out the fire. Let's fix life support. Ah, fires. Who needs fires? Here we go. Run! Run! Warning, oxygen levels dropping to unsafe levels. <laughs> it's like a puzzle. <laughs> Backup system, yeah. Go! Do it! Time is of the essence! Oxygen levels rising. Thanks. Good news, Captain. The momentary lapse in oxygen extinguished the fire on the bridge. There you go. Warning, Two for one. For See? You need oxygen for fire. Nice. Also, cannot be. Oh, geez. No! Have I died already? I'm already dying? Oh no! <laughs> the ship's turning on me! <laughs> no! Uh, where are disguiser? Wake the crew. Here, we'll wake the crew. Let's do it. Wake up, everyone! I need you in here. Oh, hey! The B stands for bullet. I heard you had a awesome. problem on your hands. So good. I've been through one of my favorite costumes when I saw everyone traps. walking around. You rogue drones ain't gonna get the best of me. I do know that there were a bunch of costumes that I didn't see for people who were only on days that so like I was in when the whole crew, like ship crew, needed to come in. But I know that there were other like alien species and stuff that came in, I think. Uh, because I saw pieces and parts of their costumes, but I never got to see them full out. So I'm really excited to see how it all came together. Also, it cannot be overstated, and, and I think that this is one of the things that watching it, you kind of neglect because there's so many effects, which are really cool to see. There's, the sets are beautiful. The costumes are great. It cannot be overstated. The acting and physical requirements of the cameraman in these, because the, the cameraman is doing the most acting of anyone while also carrying uh, a, a camera in various capacities, dependent on the shot. Some of them are chest and more like steady cam. Sometimes it was like head cams. You know, and, and each one, at one point, I think he was carrying it with his teeth to, like, stabilize it or something. Like, it, just because he preferred to do it that way. Like, everyone has their own specific way of doing things. And uh, so, you know, and they're also having to act. They're also having to, like, you know, respond so that the camera's moving the right way. So it's easy to overlook them because they're not a physical person that you see on set. But... Those cameramen are cameramen are doing an amazing, incredible job. Yeah, they're shifting focus too the whole yeah, time. Yeah, whole time. Mm -hmm. Hold yeah, shifting focus. They're they're interacting. You have to make they're making sure that their hands are visible on yeah. screen, pointing whatever. It is a constant challenge for them. So like, everyone did great work, but cannot be overstated the the amount of work that the camera people do in these like Markiplier uh, like first person perspective things because it's it's huge. So cool. This is great. This is so good. Android defense system online. Problem solved, Cap. Next time, give me a challenge. Yeah, that is a prop. That's a great. Is that a you feel prop? that? That was great. It's getting kind of cold in here. Alert. Coolant leak in cryo. Uh, that is no good, Captain. Uh, I, I gotta go check on ADS. Good luck with that. Yeah. <laughs> See ya. Okay, this is gonna put us back to Pam. Warning, <laughs> colonist core temperature rising. Irreparable harm will occur if the colonist's stasis temperatures continue to rise. Manual intervention is required, Captain. Uh, we've already woken the crew, so I don't want to really do that again. Although, call for backup is kind of the same thing. Also, I know sometimes there's like Easter eggs hidden towards the end of things. 
like from past heist with Markiplier's and choose your own adventures. Radio for call and a oh, okay, so here's aliens, perfect. But I know sometimes if you wait to the very, very end, sometimes there's like a last minute choice that opens up. <laughs> Don't worry, Captain. I found something that should protect me from the cold. This is the greatest... Yeah, yeah! Oh, that's so funny. That's a Henry Stickman reference. Yes! There's nothing wrong with calling for help. Oh, that's great. Uh, that's awesome. Um, is that a, Real quick, is that a reference that you get, by the way? Not Henry Stickman. Uh, at this point in your life, dial-up modem sound? Yes. Is, that a, is that a joke that you get? Yeah. Is it? Okay. Well, it, it's a joke that I understand contextually. But I've, you, I've never lived through a dial-up modem sound. Right, so you don't... So you get it because it's just a meme and like just general cultural knowledge that exists. Yeah, it's like I know what dial-up is. Right, but yeah, you don't. But I've actually... never experienced it first. Yeah, or how slow it was. Right. Okay. <laughs> Lucky man. <laughs> Loading an image line by line. Yeah. No. Yeah. I, by the time I was there, we had Wi-Fi. Yeah, I figured. So yeah. there you go. Yeah, you didn't have to plug in. Yeah. Well, we had Ethernet. Stay off. Stay off the phone. <laughs> I'm I'm downloading an image right now. I did have home phones. Okay, you had home the home phones phone. is a very specific generational thing that I was a part of that kids okay. don't have anymore. Okay, mm -hmm. so you did have that. Yes. All right. But you didn't have internet plus phone at no. the same time. Cool, cool. Good Henry Stickman. Yes, I love it. Oh, so that killed us. So we died. We lost. Good morning, Captain. We are currently error. Okay, so we're in the loop. Huh. Yeah, just, uh, I'm a little bit electric now. Interesting. So, so little differences in the details between loop one and loop two. Oh wait, now I'm Mark. Oh no, they, they just ejected me in a different way. Because I'm like, oh, that's the same way they ejected Mark. Here it comes. Captain, what the hell is going on? Then he's gonna pop out. Okay. Yeah, so now we're okay, we're using the time loop mechanic. Very, very cool. Thank you. Um what's happening? Oh, so this time I, I have to choose the fight. Huh. So he's doing the opposite thing. Nice. Nailed it. <laughs> I like that the board's completely untouched. Totally fine. Ooh, hello. Hey, Lore. Don't open... Ooh, hello. Don't open the door. Don't wake the captain. Oh, wild. Ah, oh, Lore! We found the Lore, Matt! One and done! <laughs> I was being... Nice. Yeah, we nailed that. Man, I, I've just got a sense for lore, don't yeah. I? Yeah. I just sniff it out. To be fair, you also, you didn't have to do much to find yourself. You were just in the first one. What? Because our two objectives. Yeah. Find you. Oh, to find myself, speed yeah. run to you. Oh, yeah. find sure, lore. I was there in the first one. Yeah. But no, lore. This is genuinely impressive. Right? There was like four choices that yeah. I had to do you to get here. it out. Yeah, I did. I, I just sense it. I just can sense <laughs> lore. Oh, wow. Pre stop something my air pre Br oh stop breathing my air so it's like a memorial sleepy head sleepy head so I don't wake up ooh I am intrigued what's that what's going on Huh. Captain, there you are. I got life support back That's cool. Life. Okay. So it seems like it, it might be, is it looping back from a, from a future time? Because again, if this is like sleepyhead, it means that the captain never woke up maybe and s stayed dead. And so maybe it's a different ending that's looping back on us and, and the, the timelines are merging. Happening, but we seem to have this situation all under control. Yeah. Always. Computer, activate the asteroid defense system. Analyzing. No. What do you mean? <laughs> no. no. Computer, what's wrong with the ADS? Yes, offline. Why? Offline. Computer, what is wrong? Offline. 
Do you know what's wrong with the ABS? ABS is online. This doesn't make any sense. We got asteroids hitting the ship, but our guns aren't shooting them down. <laughs> Again, like, you know, this is all based, sold out of the camera movement, so the cameraman doing this is great. The asteroid defense system is Great. That was a seamless cut, dude. That was amazing. Something's gone wrong with the computer. The drones shouldn't be able to attack the crew. I programmed them myself. Right, I know that's not a guarantee, but something's clearly changed. <laughs> We gotta fix ADS or we're gonna get blasted to bits. Just like old times, eh, Captain? Pretty much exactly like old times, actually. I think this is what happened to the first Invincible. But they didn't have you! I know you got huh. so Okay, so again, they're referencing the first Invincible. Yours. Okay, so they're referencing the first Invincible. That also might be referencing, again, like if there is a shared consciousness or shared continuity across the different heists slash, you know, Markiplier. What do you call this? The Markipl Markiplierverse? Mark Markiverse? There's got to be a name for this thing. Anyway, his choose your own adventure stuff. If there's a shared consciousness, it also might be referencing the times that they've gotten into these sorts of situations in the past. I can see the wheels turning. You've faced the odds and beaten them a thousand times before. This is going to be a cakewalk. I'm practically salivating at the thoughts of how you're going to save us. Come on. Tell me. These are my favorite parts. Uh, when I filmed Heist, and, and even uh, in, in this... My favorite parts are these moments where you have to stall for the 20 seconds while they make the choice or hover over the choice. And so you're just like ad-libbing at that point. And you give them different options. So I don't know, you know, what he ends up going with or whatever. But like sometimes you just give it to him straight and you just stand there quietly and like wait. Sometimes you just like go off the rails. And so, so I like giving like different choices there. Let's send Mark in. He can do it. Me, you want me to go in there and fix it? <laughs> nice. Metal makes it all better. Well, did you say so, Captain? Oh, four more. You know the systems after all, so I should be able to fix it. No. I won't let you down. You got it, Mark. I believe in you. I believe in you. Oh, it's not great. It's not great. I killed Markiplier. There it is. Uh, there's there's the title of this video. I killed Markiplier. <laughs> Rest in peace. Asteroid defense system online. Job is done, Captain. Yeah! <laughs> Knew he had Once enough of my blood got on the DNA scanners, they recognized me as me and stopped shooting long enough for me to... M2702. Uh, that is different from his initial patch from the very beginning. I don't think it is. Is it not? Okay. I, I, I just noticed it now and I'm like, wait, was that the number? I should have been paying attention to I it. I think that is the number. Is it the number it was? Okay. I don't know why they were shooting at me in the first place, but I'll run some diagnostics now that the ship seems to be out of imminent peril. Coolant leak in cryo. Okay. Computer, what happened to cryo? Maintenance. Maintenance? Shutting down. Why? Oh, whatever. <laughs> There's a leak in cryo. It's negative 200 degrees in there. We gotta fix it fast or we're gonna start losing colonists. What should we do, Captain? Mm, okay. What should we do? And this is on the we. Together. <laughs> this is a collective moment. unit of cooperation. A dynamic duo. Equal partnership. Equal outside. responsibility. What should we do? Maybe what should you do? <laughs> just stall. Great. Okay. Me, but I just did the repair thing. You did such a good job, Mark. I know it's not my place, but maybe you could take a swing at this one. Lead from the front or something like that. <laughs> but, 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 Captain, but, Captain, I, 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 I really don't want to do this. It's really cold in there. And so I thought maybe I could, maybe I could warm up a little bit. You're full of hot air. He'll, he'll be able to stay warm. Ha! <laughs> Next up, Ken Chica. <laughs> I regret to inform you that Mark 
has passed in the line of duty. He fought to the last in his quest to complete his duty. Although sometimes stubborn and overly talkative, he was a brave soul. And I like I like that. I, I feel I don't feel bad making jokes about like Mark being full of hot air and full of himself because he makes the same jokes about himself. Like that's because he's he's great. Uh, he does such a great job directing and putting these things together. Like I cannot overstate how impressed I am with this stuff. So everything I say purely out of love and joking. While we miss his presence on the ship, we appreciate the blessed silence he leaves behind. It's great. Alert! Colonist core temperature stabilizing. Yeah! I knew he could do it! Jobs! Done! Captain! <laughs> Nailed it! Good job, Marty! Now the reactor's gonna go kablooey! Throw him in! Things can go wrong in this ship! <laughs> move. Good sound effect. Let's go! Oh. <laughs> First Alert. day in war. There were coats this whole time. <laughs> Damn! You! Captain, warning, venting plasma. Oh! <laughs> 30 seconds until that's catastrophic a, that's reactor That's warmed him up a little bit. Someone with extensive engineering expertise needs to enter this room. Don't. No. It's not fair. It's Mark in again. I've done my part. You wouldn't. Please. I'm begging you. Captain. I think we gotta send him in again, right? Please. No, I, it's too much. I can't do it. My, my hands are numb. It's a good point. His hands aren't numb. It even if I knew what the problem was, which I don't. I don't think anybody does. What is this? Okay, sorry. Anytime there's a big list of stuff. Whining, disrespecting, cap salute with wrong hand. Oh, this is okay. Stuff that they could do wrong. Danced off beat. How dare he? Sang out of tune. Lost the contest of strength. Dared to challenge the captain to a contest of strength. Brown nosing. Died without permission. Attempted to look better than the captain. You understand, don't you, Captain? Cowardice. Disobeying a direct order. Poor Odor! Oh man! Is he Mike Afton? You understand, Odor and tamping with the animatronics? Understand, don't you? Dared to challenge. Poor Odor. Yeah, what's the last one? Dare Odor. Oh, and hygiene. Poor Odor and hygiene. You understand, don't you? Oh. No. Oh, look, that warmed him up! He said it was cold. Oh wow, we're harsh. Ooh, crying with snot. Separate, separate category. Reactor output stabilizing. Wow, I shouldn't have doubted you. You know it. I was so cold from cryo, I didn't I, even feel the heat. I figured. It thawed me out so evenly. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna lose any limbs to frostbite. You really do know what you're doing, don't you? I'm lucky to have you as my captain. And the ship should be in good enough shape that we can finally take a breath. Look around and figure out what the <laughs> so hell's actually So many demerits. Here. I think we're gonna be... Fine. I good. think we're gonna be okay. Computer, what's the status of the warp core? <laughs> warp core cannot be reached. Clarify. Warp core cannot be reached. Look, can you at least tell us if it's gonna blow up? No. No, it's not gonna blow up? No. It's interesting. For a second there, the warp core, the sound of the voice changed to... Uh, it sounded a bit like, um... Like Wharf Stash? Stupid robot! Or... It, it, or it, 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 there was another voice right, overlaid there. Alright, let's see what the deal is. Maybe we can figure out where we are. Computer, wake all crew leads and get them running diagnostics. No cool. I mean, Waking crew. Okay, at least that still works. This was a really good... It, like, it was a series sooner, of like though? two and a half It would have been so much hallways. easier to fix all the systems on the ship if the crew leads had been awake. Uh, whatever. Ship seems stable for now. Don't know why I can't reach the warp core, but at least we can get to the bottom of this. I swear, if one more thing blows up on my ship, I'm gonna lose it. What the hell is that? Warp core. Well, that's new. Um. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. 
Stuck in a goddamn worm. <laughs> all stress is running awesome. across all decks. It's holding for now, but I can't tell you how long that's gonna last. Captain, what do you say? About time? Yeah. Computer, activate the event horizon protocol. So good. This is that's great. it. You tied explosives to that? No confirmation. It worked, didn't it? I'm gonna kill you. Gunther said it was okay. Hey, we're gonna be drifting for a while without the warp core, but we're safe. Also, shout outs to Pam. I, I talked about her lore importance. Her suit had to literally be stuffed with uh, ice packs the entire time. Because, I mean, you're inside, this film's in Texas, and, you know, there's, she's literally wearing, like, a fur-lined ski jacket, plus other stuff underneath. Like, I mean, it was a lot. So, it's like, it was, it was hot, and you're indoors the entire time in this warehouse. So it was it was a toasty toasty shoot. Uh, so she was awesome to like put up with it. It's a phenomenal costume, absolutely great. But yeah, had to like stuff it full of all sorts of ice packs to keep her cool. I think the colonists are going to be okay. Nice to you, Captain. With the event horizon oh, all activated, the Invincible Two was free from the effects of the wormhole. <laughs> it's like a game theory episode. <laughs> the animation, I love it! The vastness of space in search of a new planet to colonize. Specifically, Mark is searching for it because you ordered him to. Not because he's the best at it. No, 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 no. He's definitely not the best. As the demerit record clearly <laughs> awesome. shows. He's just the one your mind drifts to when something needs doing. Perhaps because you consider him to be a friend. Oh. But probably not. Eventually, you do manage to find a planet, an action for which the crew thanks you dearly. Even if Mark was the one to make the discovery, you were the one to order said discovery, so you should take all the credit for That's ordering me. the discovery of the discovery, which you do. <laughs> Once the colony is established, you find that, despite his extensive list of demerits, you're always willing to give Mark a chance to prove himself by assigning him every task necessary to grow a thriving colony. Anytime a colonist needs their housing built. Me! Look at me! It's me! I found myself again! Speed running! Nailed it. <laughs> we had to do a bunch of these like poses in front of green screens. Got man! I really nailed this run. <laughs> Good job. You pick Mark. Anytime a dangerous jungle needs to be explored, you pick Mark. Anytime an alien attack threatens your colony, you put Mark right on the front lines. And he's happy to do it. Sure, the colony would probably grow faster if you didn't require that every single project and task wait for Mark to arrive. He's, he's, he's but a control it's freak. the price of getting things himself. done right. Or getting things done good enough, at least. He, he would have it no other way. This is the way he prefers he's it. He's that engineer, after all. This pattern of dutiful obedience carries on for many years, until one night you are struck with another problem that only Mark can solve. As you lay in your luxurious captain's bed, you find that you just can't seem to get comfortable. You ring the summoning bell that's been genetically coded to Mark to oh, alert man. him of your need, as is customary for any discomfort you experience. You command him to bring you another pillow to ease your aching bones, oh, man, weary from the arduous work in micromanagement. Only a few seconds behind schedule, for which you give him the proper demerits, Mark arrives, pillow gripped tightly in both hands. Oh no! You make the minimal effort required to gesture for his approach, and he does with a slightly more gleeful smile than usual. Oh no! I've broken him! There's a certain twinkle in his eye that you haven't seen before, something that, if it were anyone else, you'd assume might be a hint of mischievousness. But Mark isn't the mischievous type. But unwarranted oh, eye twinkling, you just can't abide. You pull up your tablet and scroll through the multitudes of... Oh man, didn't actually graduate engineering, so approach me with a roach. Demerits. Because it's Tuesday, eyes twinkling. ...to find eye twinkling as Mark approaches with the pillow. His smile growing with every step. The duck. And to your complete lack of surprise, he somehow screws up the simple act of giving you a pillow. He put it on your head instead of under it. Silly Mark, what a, what a Surely noob. Surely there's a demerit for improper execution of locational prepositions. Captain. 
No, he killed me. I died. That's why you, that's why you gotta respect your team, man. Go towards the light. I thought it was over. I'm like, oh, we got an ending. But nope, head towards the light. This is us. Oh, that would be a good one. Markiplier in the afterlife? Death with Markiplier? From the maker of Who Killed Markiplier? Afterlife with Markiplier? Software that would be great. Complete. Good morning, Captain. Alright, we're cycling through again. Years into our journey. Coffee is on route. Current ship status is absolutely catastrophic. Alright, I'm ready. Yeah, each time it's feeling like it's more intense or glitchier. Maybe it's just my imagination, because I expect that sort of stuff out of these narratives at this point. Oh! <laughs> just hurtling through space. I just wanted to end it? Huh. That was interesting. Reviving head engineer. Just, just really didn't like how that one started. Oh, there it is. Oh, now now we're getting into the weird lore stuff. Yeah, buddy. Wait a minute. What was that? Oh, wow. Caveman. I'm like, is that me from Heist? Because it kind of looks like me with with all the beard and stuff. But no. Oh, construction mark. Ooh, the Matrix, nice. It's starting to become self-aware too. Life support systems Awesome. Oxygen levels rising. So we have persistent memory. To some extent, it's destroyed defense system Yeah, get in there before everything melts down. Stabilizing. You wormhole! I like that the options are jump in or cannibal. Oh, there's a lot more though. What the hell are you doing? Oh, I couldn't have even click those. They were just there for. Oh, that's cool. They're fake out. That's cool. That's a really cool effect. What the hell are you doing? What the hell is that? What the hell is happening? No more. No more. It ends here. I'm not gonna let you do it. Let you do it. You're gonna tell me what you did. You're gonna tell me, and then you are going to undo all of the damage that you have done. Huh. Okay. Look, um, <laughs> we, we, we broke the timeline. We broke the multiverse. And I know it looks bad, but usually it's a lot better. Not you. Someone called Kang. You. Everything that you destroyed. Everyone that you have killed. You are going to undo everything right here, right now. Warning: reactor overload. In five. Uh, oh. <laughs> Failed that round. I didn't even get a choice! Hey, it's the warp core! So it is down here! Hey, maybe we're not all gonna die after all. Uh, okay, well, we're gonna be one of these. So, I'll try that one over there. You get the big one. Clear! Okay, so now it's the in multiverse or time loop. Usually one and the same connected. Paradox detected. A breakfast with Markiplier. Requesting suitable host. One volunteer's tribute. Paradox detected. Requesting suitable scanning. No, it, it looked kind of like the box from Heist. Or maybe not. Maybe it's just my imagination. You possess me? I'm here. I accept you. This is just Mass Effect. We're just replaying Mass Effect all over again. At the end of this, there will be a Star Child, Star Baby. That we exist in multiple places at once. Resolve.
the paradox. Huh. Okay. Intriguing. Wiki Wiki protocol override acknowledged. Opening cryo. Is it a gem? Jewel? Is it my assassin's blade? It's my hidden blade, Matt. I'm gonna assassinate some people on board the ship. <laughs> huh. Right? I think it's a crystal. You know how people will carry like crystals with them? Yeah. To like soothe themselves? Yeah. You just want to calm down. Heal their arthritis. Well. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I'm not saying it does or doesn't. What I'm saying is that people do it. C crystal on the wrist. A half a, a half a lifetime on the. Hip. Right, I right, I felt yeah, crystal no. on the wrist. I felt where you were going. Never been it. kissed. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Judgment of everyone. <laughs> All right, open that cryopod. Let's do it. Hey, Mark. Hey, you weren't ejected were this you? time. Did I? Did you? Okay, so he Did knows we? now, too. <laughs> We're immortal! Or something like that. I distinctly remember falling through that door and then ending up in the center of a star. And then slowly feeling the flesh melt from my bones. But I'm alive, and you're alive. You know it. I remember, and you remember, right? Okay, so we're in this together. This now. is incredible. Okay. Computer, activate the emergency repair protocol. Oopsie boopsie, protocol engaged. <laughs> oopsie boopsie. System rebooted. Reviving crew. Nice. Backup systems engaged. Okay. Uh, computer, can you shut down the warp core? Negative. Warp core cannot be reached. Okay, so the wormhole's still a problem. Okay. And my emergency repair protocol can't shut it down from here. We need to get in the warp core somehow. But that shouldn't be a problem for two immortal gods like us. The way I see it, all we need to do is keep jumping in. Uh -huh. And eventually, we'll find the right door, we'll get to the warp core, shut it down, save the colonists, and then you and me can enjoy our newfound powers until they slowly drive us mad and turn us away from everything we know and love. <laughs> True. So what do you say? Immortality. Come on. Not as Let's good as you might think. What's the worst that could happen? We could die again, I guess. That wasn't... That wasn't so bad. That sure. so bad. Jumping again! Hell yeah! Let's do it! We'll be at that warp core before you know it. I think we were pretty close last time, too. So, this time, I'll dash right, you dash... <laughs> <laughs> Black holes, man. Get you every time. Oh, I've got a home release now. That's nice. Okay. I'm not quite what I expected. <laughs> but now we know what not to do. Chiropractic. So, what do you say? Let's jump in again. We almost had it last time. We'll definitely get it this time. Probably. Definitely. Definitely. Probably. Probably. Let's do it. It's not gonna work. Hell it, yeah! Shouldn't be long now before we're resting on the shores of our new home planet. Okay, so it is different. Be heroes, first they'll give you a medal, then they'll give me a medal, then they'll give you a medal. I'll get all the medals. Then they'll give me a medal, then they'll give you a medal. They might give her a medal, <laughs> then they'll. Bring to release. So it is different. Okay. Oh, that was my bad. I kind of get distracted by all the pretty colors. Understandable. But they do say that failure is the best teacher, so shall we go again? Come on, buddy. Friend, pal, amigo. It is a Captain. different time. Captain. Captain? Captain. Let's do it. Let's do it again, sure. Hell yeah. Oh no, this is 59 seconds, almost so it was. It was pretty close there. I mean, you kind of screwed up, but I was doing great. Huh. So I'm gonna fix what I did wrong. You just do something completely. Okay. I, I feel like at better. some point this is gonna pay off, we'll right? Get there in no time and save all our people before they can say. <laughs> but it is different. It's, it's it's still evolving. It's still a unique case. So until we start getting like a lot of repetitions, I'm, I'm going. Through, there's got to be a payoff. I'm not the type to assign blame, but uh, I can't help but feel like you could have tried a little harder, like. I get that I'm the one to pull the most weight around here, but we could help each other out, you know? But it's okay. Why don't we try it again? We'll jump back in, and this time, we'll work together. We'll work together like a team, like friends do. Okay, let's work together, Mark. What do you say? Let's do it. You and me. Go. Hell yeah. 
<laughs> we'll be at the airport before you know it. I think we were pretty close last time too. So this time, I'll dash right. You dash. Okay, so this is it's all. Right. So this is it's just gonna loop through these scenarios again. Ah, uh, okay. I'm not quite. Let's jump in again. We almost had it last time. Hell yeah, Captain. My bad. Okay, so this is yep. just a loop. Huh, that's Hell cool. yeah! I think I we almost no had it last time. It was pretty close there. I mean, you kind of screwed up, but I was doing great. Let's so do I'm gonna fix what I did wrong. Planet. No, no, Hell yeah. no payoff. This is just a we'll loop. Oh yeah, no, he's getting stressed again. All right. Okay, well then there you go. So I guess we're looping a bunch of times. Captain. That's fine. All right, we'll call an emergency. I guess we gotta call the emergency meeting. Yeah, you're probably right. I tried. I Trust me. What's happening? And they might have some ideas huh. of how to solve this. I'm surprised. Probably not good ones. Though. One day, uh, not on camera, I might just go through that a bunch. Because I feel it's unusual that there's like a, a loop that doesn't get you out. That strikes me as weird. I feel like there might be something there. Okay. Ha <laughs> Well done. Well done. <laughs> that was fantastic. The mark of a great leader. Always being open and honest with the crew. Never holding anything back. Sweetest things turn sourest by their deeds. A lily that festers smells far worse than weeds. What? <laughs> the bottom line is, we need to get to the warp core and shut it down. It's having effects that I never could have predicted. The captain and I, we've tried some things, but we need fresh ideas. Yeah. Have you tried blowing it up? Obviously they've tried blowing it up. Look who you're working with. I uh, know we haven't. But that is a good idea. Adam. No, it's know. not. You know nothing about wormholes. You could actually cause a false vacuum collapse. Well, no, we wouldn't. And also, that's impossible. I what think. if we back the ship up into the wormhole? <laughs> what if we pop her in reverse and just undo all the wormhole stuff? Okay, Mark, I owe you an apology because obviously you're not the stupidest person on this ship. Thank you. Hey, Captain. We never do my stuff. Oh. Clearly, we need to send out a distress signal because someone sabotaged this ship. You know, mm. now that she mentions it, some of the damage on the ship did seem intentional. I think someone needs to go oh, over man, could it every be inch of this ship and give us some crap. Crap. Yeah, no, 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 just because you playing a game of who done it, solve the mystery. The are me and the captain, and the only person that I trust more than myself is the captain. I wouldn't trust me. And don't two, do it. Don't trust me. How anybody find us if we don't know where we are? That's my point exactly. We don't know where we are, we don't know how we got here, and we have the lives of the colonists at stake. Or... <laughs> hear me out. <laughs> no, no, no. It's up to the captain. Okay. They haven't let us down yet. That's true. Let's all defer to your wisdom. What do you say, Cap? Popper in reverse! Plan. <laughs> How are we getting out of this? Moment. I'm doing it. I'm doing it! Captain? No. You can't possibly think about hey. that. You heard the captain, and they know what's best. I know, and this is such a horrible idea, it's gonna kill all oh, of us. relax. The captain knows what they're doing, don't you, Captain? I'm sorry, I feel like I'm crazy. We're all gonna die. <laughs> oh That's God. great. For once in your life, just step back and put your faith in proper leadership. <laughs> you got this, Captain? <laughs> Wheeler on back. <laughs> oh, this is great. Totally fine. Let's go through it. Oh, no. <laughs> Did it blow it up? No, did I kill everyone? Another day, another crisis. Current ship status broken. Oh, it's noir! My marriage. Just broken like my marriage. Here I am again, back for another ride on the merry-go-round of life. Yes. <laughs> am I immortal? Am I some kind of god? Or was this just another cruel I knew that there was a noir section in this. Along with beautiful promises. Only to stab you in the back and leave you for dead. Whatever it was, at least the company's nice. Yeah. Seems like that didn't work out so good for us, eh, Captain? <laughs> oh well. You can't win them all. All problems solved. Well, not all problems. Not the problem of my broken heart. Oh no. Oh. 
Poor so computer. See, that's the mystery that we need to solve. Swing of the fist, no matter how strong you are. Steve. When the love of your life tears you to pieces, well, that's a wound that just won't heal. The kind of wounds that lead you down to the end. <laughs> the captain looked right through me with those baby gray eyes. The kind of look that could kill. <laughs> the kind of gray. looks that could kill to match. Maybe someday I'll work up the courage to ask them out on that date. Oh. <laughs> wow. Yeah, right. Maybe someday I'll destroy the universe. So, <laughs> Captain, got any other ideas to get us out of this mess? Or, uh, you're just happy to see me. <laughs> uh, let's fire all weapons at the wormhole. When I did the distress signal I was early, hoping you'd say that, Captain. it didn't go super I'm well for me. I'm to get some it. payback on this wormhole for all the hell it's put us through. Yeah, let's, let's launch weapons into it. <laughs> clutching my heart, pulling the trigger felt right. I wanted to do it. Wormhole robs bank. It. Space the final frontier. Or is it? Scientists find outer, outer space. That's where I've left you. How to cope with whiskey and inner Same monologues. Nice. In the back of my mind. <laughs> Our listings show features of info icon at front of each citation. We've unveiled some new changes this week to give our listings considerably new depth. Oh, wow. <laughs> It's like the default text for like whatever this news app is. I suspected that this would come <laughs> back to haunt us. In the worst way. I feel like this Looks is like that's that. that. You did it, Captain. I always believed in it. Great. Hello? Uh-huh. 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 I love Captain. Wait, Warp Stash! That's a... Oh, yeah! Tiny Box Tim, I think that is. Oh, yeah, and Warp Stash was here. Hmm. Oh, there, oh, there you go. Call. Captain, call me. 555-2702. Is that a fake number? Are they allowed to use that number? Um, well, 2702 is the number on his thing. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And then 555 is the, like, fake number. The fake number. Mm -hmm. What's that other thing? D D Doreen. Celsi. Connor. Doreen. So we are getting some evidence of carryover. Doreen. What's that last one? Corn. Cornichon. It's me, the wormhole. I bet you thought I was dead, didn't you? Oh, I gotta admit, it was a pretty good shot. Yeah, when see? You to kill, you better make I live another day, day. see? I'm a gangster. Because that's how they talked in the 1920s. We've established this. Can you call 555-2702? I'm assuming not, right? You certainly cannot. No, are you sure? No. Yeah, 555 is, like, you can't. Okay. Like, no phone numbers have that. All right, okay. Right? I... <laughs> Wrong number? Some Twilight Zone. Oh, I love it. With a sucking whoosh and a swirl of oh, wow. We're energy, like the captain of Stanley the Invincible Parable now. 2 finds themselves back in their cryopod. The captain looks around, slightly confused for unknown reasons. Eventually, they get on with it and pull the emergency oh, release man, it's totally to free them from the confines of their cryogenic prison. Stepping out of the pod, the captain wonders to themselves if they are, perhaps, stuck in some sort of purgatory. Oh man, they were dead Doomed the whole time. To endlessly repeat the mistakes of the past. The captain's intrepid engineer oh, also wonders the same as they emerge from their pod. Captain, do you hear something? The captain laughs a boisterous laugh at what is, obviously, another one of Mark's hilarious rooms. Mark must still be delirious <laughs> from the after effects of cryogenic slumber. Right. Now, to be honest, we've all seen this part before, and I don't want the viewers at home to get That's bored. Fair. I have, I have so nothing more to react skip here. ahead a few pages and get to our good friend, Wub. Wait, what viewers? What did you say? What uh, viewers? Cool. Let's go. Oh, nice! <gasps> Wug, being the stoic battle wow, that's a great that costume. Is, is unfazed by this new turn of events and proceeds to extract the English language out of Mark's soft, supple skull. 
Bug One pilots the ship to the space fast food restaurant. The captain what grabs the going food. Oh, sorry. That's supposed to be a WUG only fast food restaurant. The ship arrives at the Universal Stability Agency. We Arrival! We here! Oh, uh, WUG removes the helmet from Mark's soft, supple skull. Oh, Owie. And so our intrepid adventurers have arrived at the Universal Stability Agency. But is it too late for them to stop the rampaging wormhole that they have unleashed upon the cosmos? The captain thinks back to all the faces of the colonists under their care. Will they be all able to them. save there them? They or will they be doomed forever to suffer? Hey! Oh! Oh, look who that was! You see who that was? I like all these generic people at the end. Look at that. Will they be doomed forever? Look at Oh! Mac! Mac is great. Man. I, I'm glad that I gave them one pose that they wanted to use a bunch of times. They're like, we don't want to use them in any of the videos. There, though. That pose. Is it's great. Mac? Hmm. Mac pack? Mac back pat? I don't know. Mac pack. I don't know. Maybe, a, maybe a, who knows? Oh. Remains to be seen. You sign an NDA? Oh. Better to suffer the same figure, fate. figure it out, <laughs> Matt. Lore. Put together the lore and solve it. Okay. Figure out my lore, and then tell me about it so I know how I fit into the wider thing. No, I, I, I know I know what my I know who I am mm -hmm. and I, I see I'm seeing how I connect in, but I don't know the wider lore. Like again, like if we're doing a theory about this, we're looking at the wider lore. Yeah. I have an idea of where I fit into at least my arc. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure how I get there, especially with all the looping and stuff, so we'll see. But anyway. Over and over again. <laughs> And will Mark ever learn the captain's deep, <laughs> dark secret? <laughs> <laughs> Only one way to That's find great out. Gimmick. The more that about a deep dark secret? The bandit enters. Ooh! The bandit yeah, there's some alien costumes. You! What have you done? Not so fast. What? Now we get to the interrogation. Oh, jeez, we're moving fast. Destroying everything. The bandit knocks out Lady. What? <clears throat> I said the bandit knocks out lady. That's not my name. And no, I'm not going to do that. <sighs> oh, wow, there's a it's lot so of... hard not working with professionals. A vent cover falls on lady's head. I said that's not my name. What the hell? <laughs> and back to the <laughs> ship. There we are, back on track. And not a moment too soon. With the device from the bandit in hand, our intrepid captain now has the tools necessary to make their way to the warp core without further delay. <laughs> But will the twisting holes of the invincible tube? I'm sorry. Tube, what did you say they have? The uh, uh the ah, uh, the portable temporal displacement device. You know, the MacGuffin that allows our captain to navigate the chaos that is this ship. I didn't give them anything like that. Oh my God! <laughs> the captain looks down and sees the device. It glows. Oh, nice! The captain can get to the. So much more powerful now. They just have to find it. There. All you need to do now is use the device and you'll be well on your way to part two of this whole ordeal. So the real business can begin. I'm sorry. Part two? What does that mean? You're not huh. supposed to be here. Oh, this is wild. This is going off the rails. I am so confused. <laughs> Captain, Captain, I don't know what the hell's going on. But if there's another option that gets us out of here that doesn't involve listening to a crazy voice in our head, we might want to take that one. There is no other option written here. The next page literally says the captain uses the device and in a flash of blinding light is transported to another universe. There's no other way. There's, oh, okay, plan K. I was going to say this feels like a... I can't do everything for you. Here, plan K! Sorry. What are you Let's doing? do it. Just reject the narrator, don't believe him. No, 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 that is not part of the story. You can't do that. This is expressly <laughs> illogical and I won't have it. Oh no. Where's my pen? Damn, my pen. Hold on. Uh, what is that? Is that good? That's not good. Captain, what are you doing? Don't do what I think. No, no. Man, I should have read the instructions no, on Plan K no, before I picked it. Uh, the captain changes their mind. What? 
Are you waiting for me? <laughs> All right, fine. The ship blows up, I guess. Unbelievable. You deserve what's No, Plan K betrayed me! Ah! Oh, this is wild. Having fun, Captain? You know, they say every choice spawns a new universe. And if that's the case, what kind of universes do you think your choices have been making? Hmm? You haven't been working very hard to save your crew, have you, Captain? I'm trying my best. I'm trying to keep them out of it, though. What's well, one choice among the infinite, you might ask? One mistake is not all. And it's true. Not all choices matter. Some choices. Captain, some choices are everything. Hmm. So, I'm going to make this easy for you. I'm only going to give you one choice. There's never only one choice. This portal will take you right where you need to be. Huh. All you have to do is step inside. Is that don't you want to save your people? I, I, I have to wait till... You're the only seconds. one who can. Think long and hard about this, Captain. I am. I'm thinking long and hard. Do you understand it. the ramifications of your decision? Wow, that is a huge time difference, no, too. I can see minutes. the wheels turning, but is the hamster dead? <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, let's, let's not do it. So she... Again... I feel like, so it, in, in the Markiplier stuff, right, whenever you see an older character, it usually connects back to, like, I, I assume that it's probably connected to someone else that we've seen before. So I wonder if this is, like, future Pam. That's interesting. I, the outfit looks familiar. I'm trying to think of who it would have been. I have to rewatch all the heist and, uh, uh, and date with and who killed and all of them to refresh myself. It's interesting, though, I haven't seen Darkiplier yet. Uh, granted, I'm only doing like one path, but I'm, I'm wondering if he's either being reserved for second half or if he's, he's on a different route. But I I'm usually, usually I'm good at sussing out like, oh, this is the weird route that'll get me there. I don't know. Hmm. Okay, let's keep going. Hmm. Looking for this? Captain, I can't say I'm surprised. You always were stubborn. But that's your choice. Huh. You always did have a choice. So, okay, you always were stubborn is already telling us that we have a history with this person who doesn't seem to be space-related, which, again, is, is leaning in on the idea that these are characters from previous iterations of the show. I just thought you might want to at least understand the choices you're making. What do you even know who you are? Ha! Huh, do you know who you are? Do you feel like you've been here before? Or is this just history repeating itself? Oh, you know who you are. No, That's the big no, one. No. There it is. Hey, there I am. Theory crew, Matthew Patrick. Ninja crew, sexy crew. that oh, this is crazy ah old man mark is, oh that's her i guess from a different timeline oh this is crazy i love it so all the wormholes are like fusing together wait who is that that was weird This is wild. I love this. This is great. Oh, my goodness. Oh, 
two. What was that one? Wait a minute. That was, that looked like an interesting one. Oh, like mid and black style. Oh, crazy. Oh, they do such a good job with these. I'm so excited about this. I'm gonna watch this over the next week. <laughs> Oh, there I am. Yeah, finishing strong. Oh, oh, there we are. We're, we're all dead. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I'm going to die. Hmm. 20 days as of when this was uploaded, which was like a week ago at this point. So what would that put it at? Mm, early May? Because this uploaded April, early April. And I know it's like we've been traveling, so I haven't gotten a chance to watch it. So at this point, it's... Do we have day? Oh, ha, ETA. May 2nd, okay. Oh, wait. Universal collapse detected attempting to resolve. May 2nd, okay. Ah! So cool! My first ending. Sure, we glitched out the current universe, but I mean, the loop stopped. Can't wait for the reboot. Yep. Huh, a lot of people had this as their first ending. We're just chaotic. Now I would choose what I would actually do. Huh. Fix it from the outside. I thought. First ending. A lot of people first ending. That's interesting. Huh. Very interesting. Cool. I found myself a couple times. That's exciting. And now I think I understand better what's happening and I, I understand a little bit more about like my role I don't know what's in the second half though hmm interesting I'm so excited to see the rest of this uh so first off yes I need to search through everything else so there will be a lot more in store um I'm gonna do all that off camera uh and then I'm gonna spend way too much time analyzing it I know Markiplier's also released a couple teasers in the aftermath of this releasing so I've got a lot of homework ahead of me. I need to refresh myself on all the characters and the lore of, you know, everyone from the series previously. So that way I can hopefully draw a couple through lines here. Um, there's there's definitely connections, for sure, for sure. Uh, I can already start to see that we're connecting back to at least heist and date. Um... And I would assume that we're going we're gonna to see a lot of those characters again. If not, the old woman already is one. Old Man Mark is interesting, too, that we just saw him briefly. I wonder if we get to see him more throughout this. I'll be curious what those are. So, anyway, there's, there's a lot to chew on, and obviously there's a lot of routes to take. I, I hope someone has mapped it out online. I'll have to look at it to make sure that I, I've checked out everything. But a lot of really cool stuff. And again, like... The production value is amazing. The level of thought that goes into this is incredible. Like, to film all of these individual scenes and make sure that you've gotten everything on film, too. Like, an incredible amount of organization and teamwork and stuff. So, like, I'm, I'm honored to have been at least a small part of what is this just brilliant production. Um, and I can't wait to see how it all ends. Uh, so, there you go, friends. Uh, that is my first route through uh, In Space with Markiplier, part one, chapter one, I guess. And we'll see what happens next time. We'll see if I'm able to discover myself maybe some more in the next one. Um, pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. So uh, I'm going to go work on a theory about this to hopefully predict the thing that I'm in that I don't actually know about. So predict it all, and uh, I'll see you in the next time. So go check it out if you haven't already, or play through it again. Look for Easter eggs. Uh, let me know what ending is your first ending, because this was my first. So... Uh, thank you guys, as always, for watching. Thank you for supporting us YouTubers and us doing crazy projects like this. You know, uh, I've had, like, my VR stuff in the past. We did our YouTube original back in the day. Uh, Mark has been doing this. Like, you know, our St. Jude streams. Thank you for being such an accepting community to allow us creators to try things that are different and abnormal for what we do. You know, not just playing games, not just doing theories, but, like, getting to do other creative endeavors. So thank you guys for being open to those projects and supporting things like that. So go support Mark on this one if you haven't already. Uh, go watch it. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Let me know what your first ending is. And of course, as always, I'll see you in the next video. So in the meantime, remember, it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video, a video for you. See ya!